I had the opportunity to get far away from human habitation and spend time in nature without the influence of technology or smart devices. It was unexpectedly easy for me to reconnect with the earth and feel the equilibrium that the body yearned for. It is during those times that I realized how detached and disillusioned we've become as a species. Just a few hundred miles away was a bustling metropolis teeming with human life and a thriving economy. And here I was, completely cut off from civilization. When you soak in the spirit of nature, you see the stark difference that exists between the way of man and the way of nature. The difference may not be apparent when you're engrossed in being an ideal member of modern society, but this difference still exists. Nature is poetry and art. In contrast, modern human civilization is a concrete mess that we have mistaken for beauty. There is a line of demarcation that separates how human beings do things and how nature plays. Even though we are a part of nature, we are trying to detach ourselves from our environment. Nature doesn't force things. It exists in random, curvy patterns. Nature is squiggly and still perfect. The mountains are not symmetric, but shaped in random patterns and curves. The way trees grow, the shape of bushes, the way animals move, the way clouds form, the water flowing down the creek, and the way the sun casts shadows on the ground. It's all a random play of shapes. But as humans, we just cannot find beauty in the asymmetric play of shapes. We design modern buildings at sharp 90-degree angles. The blocks on a street are arranged in the same linear fashion. Even when we take a picture, we stay still with a fake pose in an attempt to look our best not realizing that real beauty lies in capturing the images in their most raw and unfiltered moments. Our lives are spent trying to iron everything out to make it look perfect. In the process, it loses meaning. You could travel to any corner of the planet and tell whether a human from the modern world has lived there. Wherever our species has set foot, has been turned into lines and rectangles. There is no beauty in such perfection. It is a sign of a feeble mind. Like our environment, the human mind is just as squiggly with its unique shape of thoughts. Our minds are a squiggly mess of our experiences and emotions, and it is the least understood part of us. Our brain is just a network of cells. Each neuron in our brain is connected to other neurons. Collectively, they form this incredible mind. All these cells together make up your brain. They join together for you to function properly. In the same way, nature is like a giant brain. The birds, the trees, animals, and flowers are all individual elements of nature. One cannot exist without the other. They come together to form a unity and live in a network of interdependence. Man, no matter how much he tries, cannot exist outside nature. You are a cell in the brain of nature. We're all intrinsically one organism. By living isolated in concrete jungles, the human species has developed a delusion of grandeur. Our species believes that it has transcended the need to be a part of nature's plan. But it is our inability to see ourselves as a part of the whole that is causing this disconnect. Just like when you look at a majestic tree in a forest, you're looking at the whole forest itself. In the same way when you look at yourself in the mirror, you're looking at the whole of nature itself. 
The tree wouldn't exist without the surrounding forest in the same way that you wouldn't exist without your environment. On the surface, it appears that the individual stands out from the environment, but that is an illusion. Every tree, lake, bird, or animal exists because everything surrounding it exists. This extends to the human species. The individual is the microcosm of the environment. One cannot exist without the other. We're inseparable. Every organism from the single-celled microbe to the complex human being is part of the same nature that always keeps an equilibrium. It then implies that we are all a part of the same cosmic life force that is present within us. Life energy has manifested in the three-dimensional plane of existence as nature, and it has done so in such a way that each of us has a unique experience. Each organism in nature is thus like a dot at the center of a circle, but is not bound by a circumference. It is bewildering that while all this might seem too obvious and easy to understand, the number of people who have awakened to this fact is small. Our failure to see nature as home, as this magnificent macrocosm of beauty, as this large brain with individual neurons, is the result of how our evolving technology is shaping our thought process. Even though technology helped humanity make tremendous progress, that progress was a fleeting moment in history. Progress was soon replaced with profits, and the impact on nature became visible. Technology is shaping our thought processes to be logical, but nature is like a wide-angle lens where everything is flowing together. Nature doesn't read code from a computer screen. It just happens. We have become a one-dimensional species with a myopic, linear mindset in an exquisitely multifaceted nature. Alan Watts has rightly said, I'll tell you what hermits realize. If you go off into a far, far forest and get very quiet, you'll come to understand that you're connected with everything. The next time you feel like you are separate from nature and transcendent the natural laws, take a break from your daily life, abstain from technology, and spend some time in quiet solitude with nature. Your soul will hear the whispers of the truth that had been forgotten.